The Formula One paddock is buzzing with speculation following a recent sighting at Monza, where Audi boss Mattia Binotto was seen in deep conversation with Gabriel Bortoleto, a rising star in Formula Two. This encounter has sparked rumours that Bortoleto might be in line for a coveted F1 seat with Audi in 2025. However, the real plot twist lies elsewhere. Whispers around the paddock suggest that Sebastian Vettel, despite his retirement, could be making a sensational comeback with Audi. This potential return of Vettel has been gaining traction, especially after former F1 world champion Nico Rosberg endorsed the idea during the Italian Grand Prix, stating he'd jump at the opportunity to see Vettel back on the grid with Audi. Adding to the intrigue, Binotto himself has acknowledged the speculation, expressing admiration for Vettel, but emphasising that any decisions will be made with Audi's long-term future in mind. With Nico Hülkenberg already locked in for Audi's bold F1 venture, the potential addition of Sebastian Vettel could signal the end of the road for Sauber's current lineup of Valtteri Bottas and Joe Guanyu. The 2024 season has been nothing short of a disaster for Sauber, a team competing under the Sauber slash stake banner as it gears up for a full rebrand to Audi in 2026. Despite the storied legacy of the Sauber name, the team has been stranded at the bottom of the Constructors' Championship, raising serious concerns about the futures of Bottas and Joe. The situation hit rock bottom at Monza, where not only did Sauber failed to score any points, but Valtteri Bottas plummeted to an unthinkable 22nd place in the driver's standings. To put this into perspective, Formula One usually features only 20 drivers each weekend, underscoring just how steep Bottas's decline has been. His fall from grace was further highlighted by the impressive debut of Williams's Franco Colapinto, who managed a 12th place finish at the Italian Grand Prix, pushing Bottas even further down the pecking order. Despite the swirling rumours, Mattia Binotto has been careful not to reveal too much about the team's driver lineup for 2025. When pressed on the matter during a media session at Monza, Binotto quipped, I wasn't expecting that question before elaborating. I've only just arrived, so it's crucial for me and for the team to take the time to thoroughly evaluate everything. We need to decide whether we prioritise short-term experience or focus on a medium to long-term strategy. Binotto's measured response highlights the complex decisions Audi faces as it gears up for its full entry into Formula One. The team must carefully balance the immediate need for seasoned drivers who can deliver quick results with the longer-term objective of building a competitive and sustainable team for the future. It's about finding the right balance in all aspects, Binotto emphasised. We'll make our decision as soon as possible because it's crucial to start building the team for next year and beyond. However, Binotto also recognised the importance of quelling the rumours that have been swirling around the team's future. We need to put an end to the speculation because it's not in our interest to let it continue, Binotto stated. But the truth is, no decision has been made yet because we're still figuring out what will be the best path forward. As if the situation at Sauber Audi wasn't already tangled enough, another name keeps surfacing in conversations about the team's future. Sebastian Vettel, the four-time world champion, officially hung up his racing gloves at the end of the 2022 season, concluding a career that firmly established him among Formula One's legends. Yet, despite stepping away from the grid, Vettel has remained a focal point of speculation, with many in the motorsport world contemplating the possibility of a dramatic return. The rumours around Vettel gained even more traction when Helmut Marko, Red Bull's motorsport advisor, hinted that the German driver might be open to a comeback. Marko's remarks, made during an interview with Austrian outlet, have reignited debates about where Vettel could potentially make his return, with Audi emerging as a prime contender. The connection between Sebastian Vettel and Audi isn't just idle speculation. Vettel shares deep ties with key figures within the team, particularly Jonathan Wheatley, the newly appointed Sauber Audi team boss, who played a crucial role in Vettel's four World Championship triumphs at Red Bull. Additionally, Vettel has a solid history with Mattia Binotto from their days together at Ferrari, where they built a strong working relationship. These established connections have fueled the growing buzz that Audi could provide the ideal platform platform for Vettel's return, should he choose to step out of retirement and back onto the F1 grid. The idea of Sebastian Vettel joining Audi gained even more momentum when former Formula One world champion Nico Rosberg threw his support behind the notion. During the Italian Grand Prix weekend at Monza, Rosberg openly pondered the potential of a Vettel-Audi alliance. Sebastian Vettel at Audi? I'd jump at that chance. Why not? Rosberg remarked during a Sky Sports broadcast, hinting that Vettel, if given sufficient 
sufficient time to prepare, could form a powerful duo with Nico Hülkenberg. Rosberg's endorsement has only added fuel to the growing speculation surrounding Vettel's possible return to the grid with Audi. Rosberg further elaborated, You just have to make sure that Vettel gets enough kilometres under his belt somewhere, and it could be a fantastic move. His remarks imply that, with the right preparation, Vettel could still compete at the pinnacle of the sport. Rosberg's comments have intensified the speculation, leaving fans and pundits alike buzzing about the real possibility of seeing Vettel make a stunning return to Formula One with Audi. Mattia Binotto, now steering Audi's Formula One operations, hasn't escaped the Vettel rumours. Though he acknowledged the chatter, Binotto remained measured about the possibility of bringing Vettel into the fold. I have a lot of respect for Sebastian. I know him very well from our past work together, and I admire him both as a person and as a driver. Binotto remarked, clearly expressing his fondness for Vettel. I've only been here a few weeks, Binotto noted. I need to understand everything. Take a look around, listen carefully, and eventually, we'll have to make a decision. But it has to be the right one, not just for 2025, but for the long-term future of Audi. Binotto's comments indicate that while Vettel's name is certainly being considered, the final decision on the team's driver lineup is still up in the air. Amidst the chaos enveloping Sauber, one name stands out as a glimmer of hope for the team's future. Gabriel Bortoleto, the young Brazilian currently making waves in Formula 2, has captured the attention of the motorsport world with his stellar performances this season. Bortoleto sits second in the F2 standings, a position that hasn't gone unnoticed by the Formula 1 paddock. His stock soared even higher at Monza, where he delivered a breathtaking performance in the F2 feature race. Starting from the back of the grid, Bortoleto carved through the competition to clinch a sensational victory, narrowing the gap to championship leader Isaac Hajar to just 10.5 points. This stunning display, coupled with his consistent form throughout the season, has positioned Bortoleto as one of the hottest prospects in motorsport. The possibility of Bortoleto making the leap to Formula One gained even more traction when he was seen on the Monza grid, deep in discussion with Mattia Binotto. Binotto, now at the helm of Audi's Formula One operations, is responsible for guiding the team's transformation into a fully-fledged factory outfit. The possibility of Gabriel Bortoleto joining Audi has cast a spotlight on the fragile nature of current F1 contracts, especially in a sport as fiercely competitive as Formula One. While contracts in F1 are typically regarded as ironclad, history has shown that they can be renegotiated, broken or bought out if circumstances demand it. For Sauber, soon to be Audi, the team's dismal performance this season has intensified the pressure on their current drivers, with Valtteri Bottas and Joe Guan Yu both facing the threat of being replaced. As Audi gears up to fully commit to Formula One, the decisions they make in the coming months will be pivotal in shaping the team's future. The prospect of bringing in a young talent like Gabriel Bortoleto, alongside the possible return of a seasoned veteran such as Sebastian Vettel, offers Audi a rare chance to craft a team capable of disrupting the established order. However, these decisions are anything but straightforward. The choices they make now will not only define their debut as a full works team in 2026, but could also set the trajectory for their future in the sport. Could we witness a legendary comeback with Sebastian Vettel joining Audi? Or should Audi focus on bringing fresh talent like Gabriel Bortoleto to the F1 grid? What would you prefer to see in 2025? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, goodbye for now.